Welcome to Gab Talk, where we provide tools, tips, and techniques to help your life and business be easier, better, and faster. Hello, hello, how are you? Welcome to our next episode of Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts. I'm Gabriella, and on this episode, I am bringing to you an absolutely amazing lady who understands business. She understands how to get you to profitability. She understands personality and what makes you tick that gets you to where you need to be. So welcome to our show, Sharon Galuzzo. How are you today? I am so excited to be here with you today, Gab. This is really exciting for me. Yeah, it is for me too, because you speak my language. We have enough of a similarity in our background, what we do and how we help people. And I am so excited that we get to collaborate and work together with each other. And I get to share you to our audience. So speaking of backgrounds and so much similarity between us, I would like you to share with our audience about you and your expertise. I am a profit growth strategist and I help small business and franchise owners grow and scale their businesses. I find that people are huge amounts of passion and commitment and mission to what they're doing. And sometimes they just need help with that business side. And so that's where I come in. I build them up and let them be as successful as they can be. That's awesome. So tell us about your background because, you know, in order to get to this place of being able to help people, you have to have lots of experiences of your own and very often ups and downs of your own that got you here. Yeah, it's a, I find it a very interesting journey that I've had because when I went to college, I'll be right up front with you, I went for theater. I was going to be an actor and then learned really quickly that that was not the life for me, though I love the stage. And then I got a degree in English and what are you going to do with an English degree but teach? And that's what I was told. I have to be a teacher. And, you know, in some ways, I actually am a teacher, but I'm not an English teacher. Right. And so I got jobs in education. I worked uh, for a school district. I worked for a university. Then I worked in nonprofit. And then I worked in retail. I worked in retail off and on throughout my, you know, my life. And then my husband came to me and said, I want to start a business. And I was like, what do we know about running a business? And so we went through a whole process and we started it. And honestly, we did it really smart. We had enough money in the bank. We did all of the things that we were supposed to do. And I knew when we started that there was, I had a lot of experience from all my jobs getting there, but I didn't quite know how to run a business. So I made it my job to go out and find out how to run a business, what we needed to do, how, how we needed to do it. And I listened to the experts. I did the things that they told us to do. And we started our business in 2008. And I don't know if you remember 2008, but that was, <laughs> yes. <laughs> The banks were failing, businesses were closing, and we opened our own business. It was the craziest thing. But we said to each other, we have to make this work. The low point came, honestly, whenever we were, I don't know, about six, eight months in, and I looked in our bank account, and we had $2,000 in our bank account. And I had taken out advertising, huge advertising, for six months when we started our business. I was honestly terrified. I was like, "How? what are we going to do? I didn't want to tell my husband. <laughs> that I'd seen that level in the bank account, but we, we talked and we were just like, you know what, we have to make this work. We have two little kids, we have a house, we have a dog, we have a cat, we need to make, we have to make this work. And so we just started, you know, we started doing everything that we, you know, continued doing everything that we needed to do and just believed that was gonna happen. And because of the advertising that we had taken out, because of all the infrastructure we had put in place, even when it looked like things were not gonna work, all of a sudden it turned. Like one day the phone started to ring and awesome. it never stopped ringing. And we took that business from our house, then we moved to a retail location. We were multi six figures. We were, uh, we were actually in a franchise. We changed the paradigm of how much is possible to make in that particular franchise. We actually sold it for a profit. Learned from all of this was that I really have an aptitude for business. People were coming to me and they were always asking, how did you do this and how did you do that and, and teach me? And so I was coaching and training and teaching 
before we sold our business. And whenever we sold the business, I said, you know what? I can take all of these skills, all of this knowledge, all of this energy and help other people build their businesses. And that's how I got here. That's amazing. So I know that you have a really interesting inspiration and we talked about it before we started. And I have to say, it's one of my favorite inspirations that you're going to share with our audience because every single one of them could go do this themselves. Yeah. So my inspiration, one of the books is the five love languages, and I will be straight up with you saved my marriage. And it's just great in general to communicate with everyone. My, uh, one of the other books was, um, the raising your spirited child. My oldest daughter was that child. And that book was so instrumental to me. The DISC profile, if you know anything about DISC, it's really a communication tool and it helps you understand how to talk to someone else so that they can understand you. But in business, it's so, so powerful. It can change that customer or that, that perspective customer into a raving fan if you just know how to talk to them. So for me, if the influences are how can I better understand the people that I'm working with, my family, my friends, my clients, and how can I be more where they need to be in terms of what they need so that they can accept what I'm saying and they can talk to me so that they're, it's on their level, if that makes sense. So it's really about communication and about how to be in that place for someone and hold that space, but hold the space, not just in a, in a general sense, but hold that space in a very informed way so that they can actually communicate with you the way they need to. Absolutely. Hello, hello, awesome listener. Thank you so much for joining us today at Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts. We're going to take a short break and say thank you to our sponsors. It is through the generous support of these sponsors that we are able to bring to you these amazing experts that are sharing their best tips for your success. So please listen to what our sponsors have to say, and hopefully they're going to inspire you that you're going to click their links and go support them. It's time to take a vacation from processed foods. The Ultimate Lifestyle Transformation Kit will upgrade the way you look, feel, and perform, or will give you your money back, guaranteed. By taking a vacation from processed foods, you will detoxify your organs, cleanse your cells, and remove chemicals from your gut. And once you begin to nourish your cells and balance your hormones, you may notice increased energy, lower stress, deeper sleep, heightened mental clarity, improved digestion, and sexy lean muscle. Any of that sound interesting to you? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. You already eat every day, and what you eat really matters. This is your chance to upgrade your food, upgrade your health, and upgrade your life. Is your computer secure? Is your personal information at risk? Global internet traffic is at an all-time high due to COVID, with mobile accounting for over half of it. Is your financial data under attack? People are on YouTube and Facebook and all over social media. Hackers are everywhere. Can you protect yourself? Tech Assist can help. I think I've been hacked. Help. Keep your personal data safe. Oh no, my computer isn't working. Abby and Dar are your answer. So I love asking this question and I love the answers that we get from our experts. And I am sure that yours is going to be pretty awesome too. If you could go back and talk to your younger self, if you could go back and talk to yourself in 2008 when you were starting this company or when you were in high school and college and starting out in the world, that, that theater and English major, and you could give one piece of advice, what would you say? My piece of advice would be trust yourself. Everything that happens is happening so that you can use that later on, no matter if it's good, if it's bad, if it's a struggle, if it's easy, all of these things will sort of, you sort of put in your toolkit. And then when you get to another point, you're like, oh, I'm using all those skills. 
I think if we turned around and looked behind us to all of our experiences, we would see that they led us exactly where we are today. And if it quote unquote fails, it doesn't mean you're a failure. If it is the wrong direction, but the right idea, go for it. It's okay. Trust yourself and believe in yourself and know that there are always people along the way that are going to believe in you too. That's awesome advice. So, you know, you grew a business and now you help people with their business. If I were to say, I need some advice to get off the ground and get this thing going and I need it from Sharon, what would you say? My first piece of advice is always a question. If I told you, Gab, to come visit me at the beach, what would be the first piece of information you would need to know? Where or which beach? What's my address, right? You can't come to my house if you don't know where you're going. And a lot of times that is the one piece that especially passionate mission-driven owners forget in their business. What, what are your goals? What's the destination? Where are you going? They go into their business and they work tirelessly and they are working on this thing and that thing and they're, they're not getting any traction. They just go in. Sometimes they're making enough money to keep the lights on and that's all they're making. And because they don't have any goals, any destination, I've literally talked talk to so many business owners and I say, well, okay, tell me what your sales goals are for this month or this year. And they don't have them. Something as basic as sales goals. And that's not because they're bad business owners. It's because they don't know. And that's what I help you do is find out what is it that that's missing? Where are those gaps in the foundation of your business that are keeping you at a plateau, keeping you from growing? If you build a house and you don't put a foundation on it, you can get one story. If you want to build higher than that, you're going to have to have a firm foundation. And that's where business owners get stuck. And then sometimes they, they have a couple stories, they're, they're building and they're ready to scale, but they're not quite sure then what to do. So as a yeah. profit growth strategist, that's what I help them with is what's that? Where, where do you want to go? What's that destination? Once you know where you're going, then you just build in all the steps to get there. But if you don't have that really clear picture, then you you're running around in that hamster wheel and, and you don't know, you don't really get anywhere. So other advice that you would give for someone starting out? The next thing that I would say is engagement. You can be the most amazing business. You can have the best product. You can have the best service. You can be the absolute best. But if nobody knows about you, if you are the your industry's best kept secret, then you cannot have a business because to have a business, you are exchanging goods and services for money. Yeah. So you have to have, they, they, there has to be somebody coming to give you money to <laughs> make it a business. So how do you engage your, your audience? How do you talk about yourself? How do you talk to them? Where are they? What are they doing? Where can you go and meet them where they are? And this is something that I will say about business. And I will say this about sales is that you are not doing anything to them. You're doing something for them. And how do, how, because I know sometimes people are like, oh, I don't want to feel salesy. I don't want to be that, you know, used car right. salesman. So if you realize that when people buy something from you, you are solving a problem for them. If they didn't have the problem, they wouldn't buy it from you. If you're right. selling band-aids to people who don't have any cuts, they're not going to buy it from you. But if they have a cut, they're going to come to you first because you have the band-aid, right? So you're solving a problem for them. And I think as business owners, we need to get into that mindset is that we're solving problems for people. And so when you're reaching out, re tell them what problem you're solving. How can you help them? As business owners, we like to talk about what we do and how we do it. But what we need to talk about when we're engaging them is what's your problem? Here's how I can solve that problem and be there for them in that time of need. And then, gosh, we're doing a service for them, right? We're not selling them anything. We are meeting their need. And it's a shift that a lot of people in business, going back to the whole thing with their passion, they're so passionate about what they do. And then they feel like if I change the language, it's going to be received in a way that people are going to go, oh, and we have to have our mindset around the fact that just like you said, we're solving their problem. If they don't have the problem or we're not the person to solve it, they're not going to do business with us. And that's okay because there are plenty of people whose problems we are able to solve. Yeah, I used to tell my husband, he would get very frustrated that he, he lost a job. He would talk to a client, they would do business with someone else. And I would say to him, we are going to have the business that we are supposed to have. 
and be okay with that because someone's going to say no, but it's not because they're rejecting you. It's because that's not the solution that they needed. And we need to take our ego out of it. And for coaches and for people whose product is themselves, it's a huge, huge deal. Everything is about us. Everything is about rejecting us when that's not what they're saying at all. They're simply saying that service doesn't meet my need. Well, and the thing is, if they are in fact and actually rejecting you, then that's not someone you want to work with. Because if there's a disconnect in the personality that makes them decide that they are in fact rejects that connection, there's so many other people out there that you will connect with. On each episode of Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts, we like to highlight a hero sponsor who is a business that chooses to highlight a do-good organization in their own community that is bettering the world. Today's hero sponsor is... Hello, I'm Deborah Thorne, the Information Diva, author, coach, trainer, speaker, and the proud host of the Leverage Conference, for speakers, authors, and entrepreneurs. Today, it is my pleasure to highlight one of my favorite nonprofit organizations, Demo Chicks. Demo Chicks empowers, elevates, and enlightens girls and young women in the non traditional fields of architecture, construction, and engineering. For more information about Demo Chicks, please use the link below. Thank you for your support. So Sharon, I think that everybody else out there needs to reach out to you and find out how you can help them because clearly you know what you're doing and are an expert in your space and help other people become experts in their space. So how can we find you? You can find me. My website is SharonGaluzzo.com. That's two L's and two Z's because we're greedy. And I'm also on um, all of the platforms. It's all the same. On Instagram, I'm Sharon Galuzzo. On LinkedIn, I'm Sharon Galuzzo. On Facebook, I'm Sharon A. Galuzzo. But everything, everything is all Sharon Galuzzo. Awesome. And I know that you have written a book that we can find on Amazon and you have an awesome offer for our audience today. Will you share both of those with us? My Amazon bestselling book is called Legendary Business from Rats to Riches. And it is an awesome business book because one, it's short and two, it has pictures. I love to tell everyone that because, you know, you get business books and they're a little overwhelming. They're really great. It's easy to read. It's five stories about five of the most common mistakes business owners make in their business, how to identify them and how to fix them. Awesome. And the offer that you have that they can go and get. I would love everyone to get my endless referral roadmap. It is an amazing tool that gives you exactly how and where and why to get referrals. We have scripts in there, so you don't even have to uh, know how to do it. Just copy and paste and put in your personal information. And it will help you take one of the most valuable assets you have in your business is your current clients that love you. And everyone knows that, you know, we all go and look at at the reviews before we buy something, right? So Mm -hmm. a referral from someone who loves you is four times more likely that that person will buy from you than it would, they just came off the street. So it's gonna take your current clients, the ones that you know and that know you and love you and really support you. It's gonna tell you how to reach out to them, when to reach out to them, what, what to say and how to say it. And that is a free gift that I have for you. And it can be found at SharonGaluzzo.com slash afterglow, one word. The links for that will be down below. Make sure you click the links. And you guys, you've heard me say this before. I ran a business from 2016 to 2020. I had over 150 clients, nearly 400 people called me and said, can I hire you? Because I had over 30 different sources give out my name and phone number. So if I could build a business doing that, I guarantee you when you click on the roadmap and get a copy of these scripts, and you will learn basically the exact same type of strategies that I used 
to build my business. And you can see I'm not the only one who talks about it. Sharon does too. So click the links, reach out, connect, get your copy. Don't forget to pick up a copy of her book and make sure you subscribe and set the reminder so that you find out when our next episode is airing. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope you got value today. We want to give a huge shout out of gratitude to our contributors. Please make sure you click the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell up above to get reminders when we add new content.